Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Finman and today you are tuned in for Three Ways Wednesday. Today we are talking all about that utility trend that is very popular every spring and continues into the summer and then fall as well. I've already done a video featuring this skirt on ways to wear it now in the summer and in the fall, but I wanted to also break it down for three ways that you can wear it now. And this was one of the ways that was in that previous video. So here is kind of, we're gonna do modeling shots and talk about it a little bit more. Where are you going? What are you doing? All of those things. So first off, as always, the hero or like the inspiration behind all these looks is this shift skirt from Ann Taylor Loft. It is on final, final sale, so if you are interested, make sure that you are grabbing it right now because it is a very low price. Um, it's faux suede. It has two actual functional pockets with little snap closures, so you could put maybe like a snack or something in there if you wanted to. The buttons are a gilver, as Rachel Zoe would call them, so it's a mix between silver and gold. They're a little shiny, um, and it definitely gives that nod to that utility twist. So if you are like me and you're having a really hard time finding utility pants, then maybe a utility skirt is where it's at for you. I like that the skirt is faux suede because it gives a little bit of a different texture, even though suede is definitely more of a fall material. I wear suede kind of all year long, but because this is in a nice khaki green, I think it can definitely be worn in the summer as I said so in my other video. So let's break down all of these looks. I've got my couple of shirts and then I have some accessories, which is a little bit different from how we usually do it. We've got complete outfits this time, so super excited. Let's get started. Look one is this one. So this is kind of the no-brainer, right? It's a little bit fun, it's a little bit on the casual side, but it's also trendy and very classic at the same time. So. We have our utility skirt and our faux suede in the khaki green. We have our kind of nautical stripes going on, but we have in a fun twist, a cable knit sweater going on. So lots of like sailor references or nautical references. And then I've added in a Kendra Scott necklace, which is kind of like a tassel necklace. And it's really fun because you can kind of change the length of it so you can go really dramatic or you can go a little bit more subtle with the sliding of the two. And the necklace can go either western or it can go nautical. I think when it's paired with a sweater like this it's a little bit more on that nautical side. So how are we accessorizing this? I'm going to wear, especially in the spring, I'm going to wear like my knee-high boots from Sam Edelman, the penny boot, or I'm going to wear some shorter boots as it continues to get warm. As I've said many times before on this channel, I live in the Midwest and you never know what you're going to get. So you have to be prepared. If you want to wear an outfit, you kind of have to have that like winter weather inspiration behind in the back of your brain and also like typical spring weather. So this is how I would wear it in typical spring weather, no tights. If it is colder, then I would definitely add in those tights just so that I can wear it. And I would either choose a navy to play off the stripes or a gray just for a little bit of a different twist. And then I would probably change my boots because the gray and the chestnut brown doesn't necessarily go great together. So probably I would go with the navy blue if I wanted to wear these boots for added warmth. How am I accessorizing this besides my Kendra Scott necklace? I am going to grab any of these three bags, which actually I'm not sure if you can completely see. So this one is from Kate Spade. It is a pebbled leather. It has a little bit of a pearlized finish. It's definitely on the pinky brown side. So we're kind of introducing a new color into our color scheme, but I think it's okay because it's also a neutral. We've just got neutral, on neutral, on neutral, on neutral. So adding in another texture, it's not a smooth leather like the boots are. It's a pebbled leather, so that adds a little bit of visual interest. 
And this is a great bag because it can go cross body, which is really nice. So it's really great for hands free, you know, doing all the mom things. But maybe if you don't need to like carry all the snacks with you, it's a really short trip. You're just going to, you know, the post office or something. So that's a really great option. You can also go with a ginormous tote. And even though we're introducing another pattern, this pattern, again, it's neutral and neutral, so it kind of goes with anything. Nothing is stealing the show from the sweater, which is definitely that visual contrast between the white and the navy. So this is the hero of the outfit, so nothing can compete, but I think it's still okay because it's neutral and neutral. So if you have a lot of things going on that day and you need to bring a lot of stuff for the kiddos or for life in general, then this is the way I would go. Or if you are going to like the zoo or something, then I would grab the San Rev. This one's really nice because it matches my boots really, really well. And I got it in the chestnut just because I know that chestnut goes beautiful with black and navy and basically any other neutral. So if you haven't heard of San Rev, it is a wonderful company started by women. Um, all of their bags are made in Italy. This one is the Pebble Leather. I've had this for over a year now and it looks brand new. I can wipe it down with baby wipes if it gets a little, you know, sticky from snacks or anything like that. On the inside, it has like a micro suede in there and I'm not gonna lie, it's a little dirty, but that's okay. I've been very rough with this. The zipper is in excellent condition. It can be worn crossbody like this. And this is the Maestro, so this is the full size. So if you've got maybe a laptop or, you know, again, snacks, diapers, all of that, then this is a really great one. Or if you want to go hands-free, you just pull the straps and you wear it as a backpack. I am always wearing this as a backpack and it is amazing. Amazing on zoo trips, museum trips, basically anywhere where we're going to be gone for a few hours and I need to carry diapers and snacks and water bottles and all the things that you need to bring goes on my back and then I can hold hands or carry whatever I need to do, push a cart or anything like that and I still have lots and lots of room without it being like like the never full on my back. That would not be very comfortable. So those are the three bags that I would wear with this because it's not a dressy outfit. I don't need anything like a clutch, but I am ready for, if I'm going into the office, I can wear my Kate Spade purse or the San Rev. I think either of those would work really well in a business casual environment. If I'm meeting friends, definitely going to go with a Kate Spade. So you can kind of like make this a little bit more business, a little bit more brunchy, anything like that. This outfit takes you lots of different places on that like business casual or kind of casual meetup. So that is outfit one. Outfit two is that perfect outfit that feels a little bit more dressy, but can also be on that cool casual side. So we've gotten rid of the nautical stripes and we've just put on a woven white shirt. Now this outfit does a really great job of playing between that masculine and feminine, which I think is really intriguing in any outfit. The skirt, even though it's a classic shape, it has really clean lines, it has the square pockets, and anytime you go a little bit more geometrical, it is on the more masculine side, and anytime you go a little bit more form-fitting or circular, softer curves, that's going to be more feminine. So the skirt is definitely in more of a like masculine shape, especially with the square pockets. And then we add in a really soft shirt. So the sleeves have kind of this billowy um, shape going on. We've got a little bit of detail up here, which is also super feminine. And then I've also added in a few bracelets to draw attention to one of the smallest parts of my body, which is my wrist. So again, your wrists and your ankles are the smallest parts of your body. So anytime you can draw attention to them, it just makes you look slimmer and sleeker. And then instead of doing like a statement necklace, I wanted the ruching to kind of 
speak on its own and I also just liked how sleek this outfit was looking. I wanted to add a little pop of pattern in the earrings. So these are from Nicklin Suede. They are the leather earrings and if you've ever had any problems with wearing earrings and having them tug on your earlobes or just feeling uncomfortable throughout the day by wearing earrings, Nicklin Suede does a fantastic job of giving you great statement earrings without the heaviness and it never hurts. I can wear these all day and I basically forget that they're there until one of my kiddos tries to tug on them. So they're super comfortable. They come in lots of different colors, lots of different textures, and they're also expanding their business all the time. So these are the medium size for anyone who is interested. I'm not sure if this print is still available, but they always have either a leopard or a cheetah print available. Okay, so we've got masculine, feminine. The other thing I really like about this outfit is that I'm drawing attention to the fact that I've got my chestnut brown Sam Edelman boots and I'm pulling that color up into the, um, the wrist area with the bracelets and I'm also pulling that up into a little bit of brown in the earrings. So everything is talking to each other, everything is very cohesive. You look pulled together but it's not so fussy that it feels forced. And it just, again, it can go from office with a bag like the Kate Spade over the shoulder or cross body, or you can definitely wear this with the kiddos with either, you know, the monster bag or the sand rub would also be really great. So with any of these situations, you're looking sleek, you're looking pulled together, you can absolutely change out the shoes. For me, especially in spring, I like a little bit of extra warmth from my knee-high boots, so the Sam Edelman Penny Boot is a really great way to go. For me, it's a riding boot, has just a little bit of a heel, but it also has a little bit of an angle, which is creating, again, a sleeker and slimmer line on my legs, which I always appreciate, especially in spring as we start to get into shorts weather. So that is outfit two. Outfit three is a little bit of a dare, but not so much that you would feel uncomfortable putting this together. We have the same skirt, we have the same boots, and now we are playing even more into that masculine feel, but adding just a touch of femininity with a very delicate pearl necklace. So we've been very neutral with our tops up to this point, going either white no pattern or a little bit of that sailor stripe horizontal in the first look and now we're going with a vertical line so vertical lines obviously are going to be very figure flattering for any body type and it is just a really fun way to pull in a little bit more of that masculinity without feeling like a guy so this shirt is from Rails. Rails does beautiful shirts. I think they do a fantastic, obviously, they do a fantastic job with their plaids, but they also do a really great job with just shirts and button downs in general. This fabric is so soft. It is on the lighter side, so this is definitely going to be something for warmer climates. I'm going to say around 50s and 60s for sure. Otherwise, you're definitely going to need some kind of a sweater or a jacket to layer on top because you're going to get cold if you run cold like I do. But I love this kind of play off of wearing the skirt that has those masculine vibes, pairing it with this blue and white stripe that isn't quite a navy, but it's not a light blue. It's that in-between and it almost feels like maybe something that you would grab from your husband or boyfriend or something like that. It is a little bit on the slouchy side. There's so much room, it's super comfortable, not confining at all. And then if you wear a slip underneath like I'm doing, you can definitely unbutton it pretty far without feeling like you're revealing everything. And then just pairing it with a very feminine necklace just really turns it on its head and makes it a super interesting outfit. 
blue and green go beautifully together. And I like that they're kind of in the same saturation, the same tone as well. I think it plays really nicely together, especially in the spring when sometimes we can go a little bit more on the pastel side. This is a really nice, almost neutrally way to do color in the spring. So again, you can go with any of the bags that we've talked about. I might not pair it with the Neverfull just because the patterns do start to clash a little bit more with that situation. But this is a great work outfit with the Kate Spade bag, or you could do a clutch. You could do maybe like a patent leather or something like that in a fun color and keep playing off of wearing a little bit more color with your um, top and then you can absolutely go with just a really great bag that almost looks like a suit or not a suitcase but a briefcase and it plays off of your chestnut shoes as well you just look really polished really put together so where are you wearing this this one you can go anywhere I would say same thing with outfit too it's that really nice balance between formal and not formal are you going to go to a fancy restaurant in this? Probably not, but you can go into a business casual atmosphere. You can go meet a client. You can have lunch. You can definitely do most jobs, I would say. Uh, anywhere where you don't have to wear a suit, this would be very acceptable. And it's fun. It's hitting a lot of those trends. And it is also classic and something that you will want to wear next spring which is a great way to think about building a sustainable wardrobe and a wardrobe that you will love for years to come. So that is outfit three. Thank you guys so much for watching this Three Ways Wednesdays. As always, I hope that it inspires you to go back into your wardrobe and pick out those pieces that you feel inspired by and start mixing and matching things in different ways or maybe from past seasons and mixing them with new items from spring or just kind of creating those juxtapositions between the masculine and the feminine is a really fun way to get dressed. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos on Fridays, and on Mondays I'm tackling very specific situations of getting dressed or helping you shop a little bit smarter or build your wardrobe that you love and that is also sustainable. So hit that thumbs up and hit the subscribe and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye!